All right, guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video here explaining some of the things that I'm talking about in my blog post. So ra rather than just reading about those, I thought it'd be uh, a lot easier to just go ahead and to, to make a quick video describing and, uh, and also showing uh, simultaneously what it is that I'm, just, that I'm talking about here. So basically what we want to do is we're going to be opening a web browser, preferably with uh, Google Chrome or Firefox. And you're going to go ahead and go in there, open the web page, and you're just going to open a number of different tabs. And what I recommend is to have probably about seven tabs open. Sometimes there'll be a little bit more. But basically, we're going to just want to cover these seven main areas with our, with our tabs. So we're going to have, want to have one tab that has a fundamental. And this can be like something like um, Foreign Service Institute, FSI, or like Duolingo.com really good fundamental web pages that give you like a really a really good overview of the language and you're going to be working through uh, something that's kind of like chronological so it has some kind of structure to it and this is this is awesome this is something you're gonna uh, really really get some good use out of when you're learning a language the second is have a reading page uh, really I put here CNN men's health Brazil if you're studying Portuguese but you know just have something that is just real, something you're interested in, something you're going to be reading. And you're not going to understand everything, but it's just going to push you to just immediately be exposed to real language. And you can take your time reading, uh, read as fast, as quickly or as slowly as you want to read. Uh, this is great. The third tab, you want it to be something that's like listening uh, with visual support. Uh, by visual support, I mean, you can have images, but what I kind of mean by that is, it's something you're listening to, but it's going to have like a transcript with it. Uh, a good website, News and Slow French. They have the same kind of uh, website for News and Slow Spanish. Uh, you're going to be listening to the news. They speak very slowly, and you're also reading along. It's it's really just very useful. Um, another one here is called Note, Notes in Spanish. If you're if you're studying Spanish, and this is just a really great podcast. They have um, I think you can purchase them for very very low cost. Uh, transcripts. The podcasts are free, but the transcripts are excellent. Uh, the, ne the next tab will probably be something like listening. Um, and basically listening, it can be like a, uh, it can be like a, a series, a television show. Uh, French in action is like, if you're studying French, it's just going to be basically like a, you can think of it as like a, like a series, but definitely for beginners. Uh, who are just beginners, and then it takes you all the way to about an intermediate level. And they speak at a very, it's not at a, at a very advanced level. It's definitely at a more of a level where you're still learning, which is great. Destinos is like a telenovela for people who are beginning and or arriving at the intermediate levels in Spanish. Uh, it's, it's entertaining, just like French in action. And it also kind of is at your level, but listening. You need to have a listening tab. All right, you need to start listening to how language is actually spoken, uh, native speakers if possible. It's going to be great. The fifth tab, music and lyrics. All right, uh, not everybody uh, really knows how to go about doing this with just the songs. It's just so much to be thrown at you at once. But you can do that. But this is a cool website. It's called lyricstraining.com, and it's kind of a game. So you're going to have to be you're going to be watching a music video listening to the music, and then you're going to have to be typing in the, the lyric, the missing word of a lyric um, that you're going to be that you're going to be listening to and you're going to see. So you have something that's very audio and you also it's, it's, it has a visual component to it. And this is great because you're listening to actual music in your language. Conversation scheduling, it would be the number six tab. Um, italki.com is, is excellent and you can schedule conversation partners you can schedule to meet with just a uh, with a informal or a formal teacher through there um, also with for my website personal fluency coach I'm doing this as well for Spanish and for English um, so yeah this is an option I'd like to expand to Portuguese and French into the future uh, that would be great um, but yeah this is the this is the idea is you want to have a place where you're scheduling uh, to meet up on Skype or through Google Hangouts with with a with a speaker of your language so that you're actually practicing. 
All right. So the seventh tab will be something related to reference. Word reference, Google Translate is also good. Um, I, I know I shouldn't, <laughs> but I use Google Translate as my typical reference tab. Um, okay. Web apps, you're going to want to have about two web apps open as well. For one, you're going to be using this from uh, vocabulary memorization. And then Anki is a really good one. If you go to Anki, you start do a Google search, you can download it. And I'm going to show you what that is in just a second. Conversation. Again, choose one. I, I'm a big fan of Skype. It's very easy to use, very user friendly. Google Hangout as well. If you're a Google user, I, for me, it's not as user friendly. I'm not as big of a fan, but Skype is great. And this is where you're going to have your online conversations with language partners, with teachers, um, or just if you have a friend who is also learning and you guys are disciplined and you can go uh, practice this stuff together. That's also great. Okay, let me go over here really quick just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here, this is Skype. All right, this is just, most people know what Skype is, but this is going to be a place <clears throat> where you're able to communicate with different people. This is a French tutor of mine. This was a Spanish tutor of mine. And this was a Portuguese tutor of mine. <laughs> so you're able to uh, very easily go through these different people and, uh, and schedule and arrange conversations, uh, video conversation. Anki, this is the other application I was talking about. This is going to be a, it's an application where you're able to, to put in and then to, to, create, uh, to create decks for studying uh, grammar. And this is, this is amazing, okay? So you're able to click through and you can choose, all right, how do I know? Trapeau français. Ah, I need to hear it again. I'm good. It's pretty good. Or it was very easy. And so if it's very easy, maybe I'll see this four days later. If it's good, eh, maybe in about 10 minutes and about one minute for again. All right, so very useful application. I'd recommend having those both open. All right, let's look here at this. So something I was talking about a second ago with your browser is that the first thing you're going to want to have is something that is the fundamentals. Here is FSI, and it's very structured, as you can tell. The second tab is going to be something that's related <clears throat> to reading. And this is just a, uh, an online newspaper from Quebec. All right, La banane serait en voie d'instruction. Okay, very cool. So it's just something that comes from the real world where they speak French and I'm able to go ahead and practice here every day. News in slow French. All right, this is really cool. Les attentats de l'État islamique de vendredi soir ont fait au moins 120... Okay, so you're able to listen. This is your listening with some... Uh, with a little bit of uh, visual help here along with it. So with one of these websites, you're able to listen. I don't understand what uh, vendredi soir, Friday night. Okay. Da, 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 da. A décrété trois jours. Has decreed. Okay, cool. So this will help you big time. Right here, this is going to be the uh, French in action. So this is definitely going to be listening. And you're going to be able to pull up videos about different subjects, and you're going to basically follow the series along, so you're actually getting a story, but it's, it's really listening. There's not any kind of subtitles, there's no other, no other words that they're giving to you, you're having to really listen to what they're saying. Lyricstraining.com, this is the great website, very fun to use, you get exposed to new music, uh, you can sing along if you're by yourself, or if you're just not shy, <laughs> and this is a great way to practice. You're also having to type in the missing lyrics as you're, as you're learning the song. This is italki.com. This is going to be the conversation hub I was talking about, where you can organize classes with students or with language partners, the new friends that you meet. Um, personal Fluency Coach, I'm also doing something somewhat similar, uh, where I'm really just offering my services as an English and Spanish instructor. Down the road, I'd like to, uh, to, to, to get one or two other instructors for French and for Portuguese uh, along, along with me. 
and that would be uh, that would be another hub that you could that you could use. All right. And finally, you have your reference. And with your reference, you're going to I'm I'm using here Google Translate. WordReference.com is another one that is just incredible uh, in terms of being able to have a place where you're able to reference words, uh, to look stuff up, and to make sure that you're you don't have to do it for every word, obviously, but you want to make sure that you're able to reference uh, reference different words and to find new words to then able to then be able to study later. Something I really enjoy doing, looking up a word and putting it into the Anki application that I showed you earlier, which is going to be here. And I'll do another video down the, down the road just showing you how to use Anki how to, how to uh, create decks, how to put new words into here so that you're able to re read something, for example, that comes from a uh, Spanish-speaking uh, web page, let's say it's the news, and how to go in there and add in those words, go back and study those words, the next day go back and read it again, and you'll be amazed at how, how quickly your pro you will pro progress uh, with the new vocabulary. But anyways, that's going to be it for right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something out of this. This is a really great way to organize your online studying uh, and really come a long ways. All right, more to come. Thank you so much for watching.